Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any color you choose. Dulux, let's color. A family home is all about comfy, cozy spaces with an exceptional use of texture throughout. Design team Claire Clark and Sophie Kelly of By Design Interiors know the perfect recipe to giving a space that homely feel. By Design Interiors started uh, about 10 years ago. I started on my own as a designer. We mainly work on residential, but we have also been fortunate enough to work with some lovely corporates, and we've also helped with one or two restaurants as well. We believe in creating modern spaces that are comfortable, that are, represent the personality of the people that live in the space, and create something that is going to stand the test of time as well. We probably both have our own individual style. Um, I'm probably more the, I wouldn't say conservative, I would say less colour, more about texture. Um, Sophie is definitely more about colour. I love to work with all colours. Probably beige is one of my least favourite colours. And my favourite. And Claire's favourite colour. But it is always a good idea to have a neutral base so that your colour then comes through in your art, your accessories. The space that we designed for the client, it was really empty, it was boring and bland. It's quite a large space. Again, going with my whole philosophy of if we're going to put less in the room, it's got to be large. They've got to be large, bold pieces. They've got to balance with the scale and proportion of the room. So I really started there, so everything I looked at, I made it bigger. The, the carvers on the, on the dining room table are a representation of that. They're more like benches where two people can sit as opposed to just an individual seating at a table. So we did some paint techniquing with, with some of the furniture as well, um, so we repurposed some of the elements that they had. But most of it was, it is a very neutral um, colour palette, but there are again little surprises of colour. When we started, the space had a sofa up against the wall and pretty much the rest of the room was empty. It was a bit of an arbitrary space, the client wasn't sure how to use it. So we decided to create a conversation area where the family could meet while dinner is being prepared and they can interact together, talk about their day. We decided to keep the walls a neutral shade of like a canvas colour. We used a, a beautiful neutral heavy looking linen. We did a leather through the back of the chair just to give it a little bit of difference because we like to incorporate those unexpected um, items in things. And then just to break up that neutralness again, a nice pattern in a richer, darker chocolate brown colour. The palette that we used in here was a neutral palette and we've pretty much taken this palette all the way through the rest of the spaces that we're going to look at. Um, we've done that to create a cohesive look and to also en enhance the flow of the space. So there's no jarring from one area to another. So we painted the trim, the corners and the architraves around the doors in a white to highlight the architectural detail because the white stands off of the neutral canvas paint colour. So the client really wanted one big space to entertain in. So the room was originally divided uh, with a wall between the dining room and the lounge, which we removed. It also then flows much better from the inside onto the patio area. Because the room was so big, had to then really look at how we divided the spaces as well, because you can't just have one big room and things arbitrarily put into a space. So we, re we really defined the dining room area and the lounge area. When designing the, the look of this space, uh, we wanted almost a colonial feel, but with a little bit more of a modern edge to it. A lot of the accessories that we've selected do lean towards being a little bit ethnic, but they are counterbalanced with other more modern line things like the mirror in the dining room that sets 
a backdrop to the elements in front of that. That is a more modern piece, whereas the elements in front of it could be seen as a little bit more ethnic. So when playing with neutral colours in a neutral palette, you really have to add interesting elements. So texture is very important when just playing with neutrals. And the way to do that is adding things like a raffia lampshade or adding an animal skin in a zebra. Even the carpet, the rugs that we've used are all jute, so it's a heavy textured fabric. The patio table outside was also an existing piece of furniture, but because we painted the walls dark outside, we decided to lighten the table. So that stood off a little bit from the wall colours, not just blending all in, that you get a better sense of that piece of furniture sitting in the space. So my feeling is when you go outside, you, you can often get lost in a space because there's so much light. So in order to make the patio feel like it envelops you, I've gone with a very dark colour on the walls. It really demarcates the space and gives you a warm feeling. It also is a, the most wonderful backdrop to colour. Where we have added colour, the blues and the greens, you really see them and they show off when you set it onto a darker background. This client's got fabulous taste in art. Um, so it's always lovely to work with someone who has, who has a, a feeling for art. Um, my, one of my favourite sculptures being Lionel Smith. I'm fortunate enough to be able to have one of those pieces in this client's home. It really also set the mood and continued the whole feel of bringing some ethnic pieces into the environment. It also really replicates the colour of the wall again and really gives you that feeling of the space being one. So when one looks at it, designing and decorating a space like that, one looks to nature. So the sky is blue and the grass is green, hence we've brought in the colours of blue and green, and those really, really show off well against the darker backdrop. So painting the walls dark really envelops you and cocoons you and makes you feel warmth even though you're sitting outside. If you've ever wondered how to add texture to your spaces, well the easiest way is by adding eye-catching pieces like woven rugs, weathered wood furnishings, as well as cushions with different printed fabrics to dress up your neutral rooms. These elements are the perfect combination to add interest to your beautiful home. Preparation is important. Before painting, ensure your surfaces are clean and free from dirt, grease, oil, lime bloom and efflorescence. Allow new bricks one to two months to weather before painting. Then prime your surfaces with Dulux Plaster Primer. Leave for 18 hours and finish off with Dulux Pearl Glow as your top coat. If you're feeling adventurous and want to take on your own DIY project, go to our YouTube channel and get inspired. You can try painting vertical stripes on your wall. Watch our step-by-step -step guide, which will give you great techniques to achieve the look. Don't forget to share your favorite Dulux DIY videos on social media. Picture it before you paint it. Download the free Dulux Visualizer app and see how your room will look in any color you choose. Dulux, let's color.